So, you know, I think if I'm going to paint with broad brush strokes, um, there's, you know, extraordinary things that we should pray for, right? Um, and then there's ordinary things that we should pray for. The extraordinary things that we should pray for are things like, you know, the conversion of souls, the advancement of the gospel for God's work to be done here in the world, for missionaries and pastors to be raised up and sent out. And I say that those things are extraordinary because those are things that uh, we have a role and a hand in, but our work is not determinative. So we can share the gospel, but it's only God himself that can bring the conversion and the salvation of souls. And so I think when a church comes together to pray for those things, uh, we don't abdicate our responsibility to take part in sharing the gospel and things like that. But what we do is we fill ourselves with the courage and we're reminded that God's going to be the one that brings about the results. But we're praying for God to do those things that he could do. But then very ordinary things. Right. So, you know, you go to the Lord's Prayer and we're told to pray for things like our daily bread, um, things that we we're tempted to take for granted, right? The fact that you and I are going to eat. Um, very few of us wake up in the morning and have a concern. Am I going to eat today? Because we think, ah, hey, I've got money in the bank. I've got a job. I've got food in the fridge. So the bread that we eat each day is not a concern. And when it's not a concern, we tend to take God's very gracious gifts for granted. And, and so not praying for the ordinary things can cause us to, as a church, to be entitled and to think that we've brought those things on uh, ourselves. And uh, things that we think we can get ourselves, uh, it's easy for us to keep those things to ourselves. But as we as a church come together and pray that God would give us all what we need, we recognize and acknowledge that God gives us the bread that we need each day. So we freely give that out to folks that are in need as we pray for the forgiveness of sins. As often as we pray for the fact that we need bread, we're reminded that God has granted us peace, not based on our performance, but based on his gracious pardon. So we do the same thing to, to folks in the life of the church. So it's the very ordinary things that you and I tend to take for granted. Uh, that we pray for as well. And we see God changing the dynamics of what goes on in the life of the church.